this guy, man. This guy keeps coming back, just giving me full reign, full reign to do whatever. Now we're just working on this big back piece. Got a lot of plans for that. Uh, doing the fallen angel, or the sad angel, and an eyeball with some uh, cathedral background in it. Uh, so it's gonna be fun, and we got another skull on the bottom. Grew up in a traditional Mexican home where tattoos were for gangsters and destroying your body kind of thing. I mean, my dad was one of those guys where I mean, he didn't let us do stamps, he didn't let us do like pen or marker or anything on our bodies. He just always got mad at us for it. I get my ass kicked just because you weren't supposed to, you know, light up your body. It was December in 2007 is uh, my first tattoo I ever did. You know, I got a package at home and. Uh, I was kind of tripping out what it was. It's my brother. My brother, you know, asked, told him, "Hey, dude, what's this?" He's just like, "Hey, package is for you. Open it." So I opened it up, and it's a big old tattoo kit with uh, needles, inks, and pretty much everything I would ever need to start tattooing. I was tripping out, I was like, "What the fuck is this, dude?" He's just like, "Oh, it's your Christmas present." So he pretty much ignited it, volunteered his body to do it. And then after him and my other brother and my other brothers and my cousins and my friends and seven, eight years later, here I am just tattooing everybody now. My mom, she actually sets appointments every time she comes out now. It's kind of one of those things just kind of blew up and the more experience I got on it, the more I started picking it up and you know, really just self-taught and never learned from anybody. Even to this day, I still just keep learning, learning from what I see, learning from what I do. Uh, you know, so to me, I just try to do the best I can with every client that I got. A buddy of mine asked me to do uh, a Star Wars piece. There was a tattoo competition going on. He was going to answer my piece. It was first place for this uh, salacious crumb piece that I did on him. I was on cloud nine. After that happened, I was, it was like surreal for me. It was such a big event. It's the clients that do it for me. You know, they're the ones in there entering their tattoo thinking it's good enough to beat other people's and to be able to pull off a trophy or a plaque, it's the best feeling in the world. Uh, there's an artist uh, by the name of uh, Johnny Quintana. He's into the faces and the realistic and soft black and gray shading. He's been a really big influence on my work. Another big influence has been a really good friend of mine that I met at a convention. Uh, his name is uh, Fred Flores. They do such amazing work where it makes me want to you know, step up my game a little bit more. And of course, you know, the most important you know, inspiration of the wall is you know, my kids, my wife, you know, they, my, my mom, my brothers, my sister, you know, they, all my family just giving my cousins. Everybody just giving me that support, you know, my aunts and everybody just sit there, all the ones that, you know, everybody in my family, everybody's friends, just keep giving me that fuel, you know, just loving my work, loving my tattoos, and they just keep feeling the fire, man. We did the uh, chest piece. Um, it's we got the girl's face, some crying on there, got the skull as a, as a helmet, put a little bottom skull. Filled in with the roses. Got the uh, the other those went those face on the side. We did uh, or, you know the eyeball. Uh, the, the skulls were you know hand drawn skulls. We were all free handed with the roses. Um, free handed the rest of his arm with the other skull. You know, that was that was a lot of fun. We still got more to do on that arm too.